you think he starts game three? I do. Uh, I at least think he's going to play. Now, he hasn't played basketball in two weeks, so there's a little bit of game conditioning uh, that he's probably going to have to work his way into. Uh, I think you are going to see him in, in game three, yes. Do they, if they won last night, do we see Joel Embiid? Actually, I think so, yes. I think either okay. way you would see him. Be- and I'll tell you why, Dan. If they had won last night, particularly if it had been in, in as emphatic a fashion as they had won game one, then you're already looking ahead to the next series a little bit, a little bit, not to disrespect the Heat. But because 2 nothing and Miami getting beat probably would have said, okay, this, this might be over. So then you start thinking about the game conditioning for Embiid as you're looking with an eye, no pun intended, to the next series and then maybe even the next series where you're really, really going to need him. And then if you lose the game last night, you lose a home game. You know, Sixers were only one of three teams in the league this year to win 30 home games in the regular season. They're very, very good at home. Uh, now things are a little bit different, and Dwayne Wade has awakened that team, and that was in a very, very impressive showing by him last night, 28 points off the bench. So now you don't want to go down 2-1. Now you might need that guy, and you need him particularly at the defensive end of the court where – uh, Miami is sort of having its way in the paint. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.